I know a song that gets on everybody's nerves. Everybody's nerves. Everybody's <laughs> nerves. I know a song that gets on everybody's nerves. And this is how it goes. Bruh, you literally look and sound like Gucci right now. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> like my daughter? Yes. <laughs> That's how she be. You literally look and sound just like her. Dang. When she be like, what? <laughs> I realized I know when she be lying and I don't like it. How you know? Because she'll be like, huh? And she'll look at you and like twist her face. I'm just like, fam, you can hear me. Yeah. <laughs> you heard me. Like, <laughs> she'll just like walk up, huh? She's trying to buy time to think of yeah, a lie. Like, what, but yeah, I'm thinking she, I don't, I, but I be wondering too, does she, oh, never mind. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, she like, she stutters in her head, but I don't stutter in my head. So oh, it would make sense. Yeah. Um, but yeah, she probably thinking of some shit to say. Yeah, absolutely. And I say, she could be doing it, huh? And then, and then she'll be like, no, like she'll be like, no, no, George, real no. over the yeah, top. I'm like, girl, all right. <laughs> I just asked you some bread. A uh, little lion <laughs> tail. Little lion, lion ass. A little lion tail. And I don't want to start that stuff, you know, because like, it really is something when your parents don't believe you, and you be telling the truth. Yeah. So, and but I'd then be, what do you do when she lies? That's what I'm saying. Or I be, I be trying to use my tactics because I used to be like, you know, God told me. Oh. You know, you know, I have, you know, God be telling me like, if you be lining right now, that's how I kind of be using, trying to scare them. Not really scare them. <laughs> so I don't be lying scare on God. Them. Yeah. But I'll be like, you, you know, I know the truth. Right? Did I tell the truth whenever you say that? Most of the time. Oh, so it's still a little bit uh, of, not, bit. not much fear of God. Maybe <laughs> not much fear that he telling me stuff. I don't know. <laughs> Cause I just asked the second time. I'm like, okay. What if I had, she like, oh, man, God ain't told you shit. <laughs> Bye. God ain't said shit to you. <laughs> I mean, that's that's what how I that's how I worked with my daddy. <laughs> Cause I'm like, God ain't told you no sh- like shit like that. <laughs> now you know God ain't said nothing to you. God always told y'all shit though about uh girl. He told he always came and told y'all shit, but not me. Girl, sure did. <laughs> he still do. For real? Hell, I say hell yeah. <laughs> yup. Still do. I know you probably listen to the intro at least on our podcast episodes and be like, they talk about me. Yeah, we talking about you. Yeah, I'm we crying. About you. Talk, God don't ever tell me nothing to tell you. I am crying. You go to, but whatever, that's y'all thing. Yeah. How's your week been? <laughs> uh, it's been good. A bitch been having some back pain and shit. Yeah. I'm like, fuck, nigga. I'm mm-hmm. too young for this shit. Like, I tried to bend down and take, put a cord in the wall. I'm just like, oh. <laughs> Shit, I tried to get up out of bed, had to uh-huh. damn near roll out the bitch. Mm-hmm. I was like, God damn, it's just time for an adjustment. It really is, but I, I really do be thinking, like, you know, people say after 30, like, shit do be. It be feeling different. Yeah, a little different. Not mm-hmm. not like in a bad way. I mean, not in a terrible way. Not in a, <laughs> not like, a terrible not way. Not in a permanent way, but sometimes you wake up, you gotta, like, see what, what feels off <laughs> first. <laughs> and, like, you said your back, mine been my neck. Bruh. But, like, I think now that I'm starting to realize it, it has something to do with the season change. Mm. So maybe, like, do you think you threw your back out? <laughs> <laughs> I know what, they, what they say, no, you threw your back out? Nah, I don't think I threw my back out. <laughs> I don't know how you do that. <laughs> I don't know either, <laughs> but I don't think I did it. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it might just be, like, my posture. Mm. I, I know I don't have the best posture. Oh, And yeah. then, like, leaning over, looking at my phone and stuff. So yeah. I try to be, like aware of it whenever i'm doing it mm-hmm. girl because one time i was sitting on the couch looking on my phone and i was like shit i am lean the fuck over <laughs> all the way hell yeah head almost to the damn table uh-huh. i was like oh no it ain't healthy after so hell long. yeah back gonna be fucked off you keep doing that do you be listening to your watch when i say get up and, and move oh yeah mm-hmm. yeah oh you a good one yeah i get up I hell sh- shake my i just take my uh, arm stop stop vibrating <laughs> Swipe up. Hell yeah, I'm gonna do what I'm finna do. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. So I mean, other than that, week's been good. Went by fast. Mm-hmm. Um what else? Yeah. I'm just ready for the next few days to be over, to be honest. For real. Yeah, a bitch is tired. I feel you. Bitch is tired. I, I still you. ain't got my apartment in order. Mm-hmm. Like I still got like some boxes. Mm-hmm. None of my paintings is on the wall. So I said this weekend I'm gonna dedicate time to like actually i feel like it's really gonna feel like a home mm-hmm. once i get some shit on the walls yeah most definitely. yeah so that's about it mm-hmm. but how's your week been 
It's been cool. It's like it's kind of like a blur. Like they gave my bitch ass the time to go back to work. Damn, man. I know. It's like, still a panorama outside. I know. Well, like I'm, I'm lucky though, because a lot of people been back at work. Mm-hmm. So I'm lucky in that sense. Um, a lot of people ain't having to go back to work ever again. You know what I'm saying? Like they job turned permanently to remote, which you not know, wouldn't be mad at, right? But you know, it's been almost two years. Let me just you know. Get Take back. it for what it is. Hell yeah. Like, during that time, I've developed so many different, like, I don't want to say hustles, but, like, just, like, different passions and shit, like, in this whole time. You know what I'm saying? Starting my business and lots of other stuff. Right. So, I'm like, dang, I ain't going to be able to dedicate all my time like I want to to the stuff that I really want to do. Right. Now I'm going to be on somebody else's clock again, you know, for a little bit. But, you know, as long as you keep your head down, you could do, you, you know, you could do, you know, what you want to, you know, you know, I ain't going to say. More. Right. Yeah. Um. So that's what I plan on doing. Like, keep my, keep, do my work and keep my head down. Yeah, just stay out the way. Stay out the way. Don't, don't ruffle no feathers. Yeah. Like, when we have meetings, y'all have any problems? Nope. Everything's great. Everything perfect. Like. I'm fine. I'm great. Don't ask again. Okay. <laughs> Matter of fact, we can revisit this in six months. Okay. <laughs> like, you want to ask me every week. So, I'm just trying to stay out the way and just, like, prepare myself mentally to actually have to, like. <sighs> be there. Uh, yeah. Like. Are they going to be expecting y'all to be there, like, every day? Or is it going to be, like, a slow transition? That's, that's what they want. But they not going to get me there every day. I feel you. I'm going back to work, work. Because y'all, y'all not working feel a field. You. So, like, for people who don't have, like, a heavy caseload, I guess they have to go back to work because they have to, like, build it and all that stuff. But mm-hmm. I already have an active caseload. I already told my clients I'm coming back, so we're going to do ha- on visits face-to-face. Right. So just prepare. Like, I don't, I don't have no intent. That's what they want. Right. That's what they're not getting out of me. Period. But that's what they, they – yeah, they want people to, like, show up full force. The first Not happening, Captain. At, at all. Mm-mm. At all. I wasn't doing that before. So you're not going to – that had me doing some shit before. Hell yeah. That I wasn't doing before. So, yeah, no. I'm back at these streets. Um, it's official. Come on. <laughs> Come on. And, yeah, it is what it is. We're just going to keep it moving. But, yeah, I just have to mentally prepare myself for that shit again. I feel you. All that shit. It's going to be so, all right, though. Yeah, I ain't worried about it. It's going to be all right. I keep my head down. That's yeah, it. facts. All right. So, I feel like I did my song, but... You've been trying to sing your song the whole episode on accident. Girl, I was like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I almost sung ooh, it. I almost, I almost said it. You ready? Okay. Um, Girl, I don't need you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but you need me. Ooh. Take it off. Let it flop. Shake it freely. Uh. Bubba Sparks. Uh huh. Booty, 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 booty. Right there, right? <laughs> I found you, <laughs> Miss New booty. booty. It's better. <laughs> Back to me. Girl, I was confused when you said that. Girl, I don't need you. I'm like, what the fuck? And I was like, oh, that's part of the song. Damn, you did that. Because uh, Bubba Sparks, Miss New Booty, uh-huh. is definitely from 2006. Ooh, wee. All right. Look at you remembering uh, damn lyrics from 15 years ago. Girl, I remember songs from. Before I was born, they don't mean <laughs> shit. Um, okay, I feel like I've definitely done this song before, mm-hmm. but fuck it, I'm gonna do his part. Um, they do say it's a shit if I do say so myself. If I do say so myself, if I do say so myself, hold up, stumble all in the house, trying to back up all that mouth. Oh, that you had all in the car, talking about you the baddest bitch thus far. Oh, this sounds familiar. Talking about you repping that third. Want to see all that shit I heard. Know I sling Clint Eastwood. Hope you can handle this curve. Oh, this sounds familiar. Foreplay in a foyer. Fucked up my Warhol. Slide the panties to the side. And kind of ain't got no time to take draws off. Fuck. I don't know what it is. On sight. Caught a charge I might. Beat the box up like Mike. Oh, I know this. In 97, I bite. Uh, I'm Ike. <laughs> turn up. Turn up. Uh, uh, <laughs> Baby, no, I don't play. Now, eat the cake, anime. anime. Said, eat the cake, anime. Oh, eat cake, anime. Said, eat the cake, <laughs> anime. <laughs> I'm nice. Uh, is this two chains? No. Oh. But I can see how you say that. For y'all to, oh, shit, the thing, man, just, it is, um, Fuck, I know it. You do. What what is it? We be all night. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck I'm mad. I don't know if we did it before. 
40. Maybe nine. I don't know. Damn. You, you knew it, though. Yeah. I'm like, I know these fucking lyrics. But the way you say it, anime, it definitely sounds like a 2 chain verse. Yeah. But I feel like T- 2 Chain said he that. He did say anime. I want to, uh. I'm finna eat a banana. <laughs> 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 Y'all ain't hear no gag, did you? <laughs> I'm just saying. I had about 80% of this banana in my mouth. <laughs> I cannot fucking wait. I cannot fucking wait. <laughs> just, just thought I would report back. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, best friend. Ain't it a blessing? Look, because I was looking right in your mouth and I seen you put that whole damn banana in your mouth. I'm like, what the fuck is she doing? (laughs) How else do you eat a banana? (laughs) (laughs) Hey, best friend. Ain't it a blessing? Okay, anyway. <laughs> you, that was your part anyway. Yeah, you are listening to another episode of Here You I got no fucking sense, dog. Oh, bro. <laughs> no sense. <sighs> All right. Let's go ahead and get started in this week with the shits. Mm-hmm. Uh, We're going to start off with, let's do a hundred rounds. Soldier boy. Uh, soldier girl. <laughs> <laughs> um, Kiss me through the phone. Ooh, Bow Wow. Ooh, a Millennium Tour. Damn, I don't know why I couldn't think of nothing else besides Bow Wow. <laughs> Okay, so recently, mm-hmm. an OnlyFans model decided to hop on on the internet mm-hmm. and let us all know that she actually stopped messing around with Soldier Boy mm-hmm. because he wouldn't get tested for HIV and STDs. I mean, that's a legit reason too. A legit reason to stop messing with him? Well, maybe <laughs> it's maybe kind of late if you stop. You know, now you stopping. <laughs> Okay, when I read it, I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> so you didn't request it before, uh-huh. but you requested it during. Maybe he wanted to take the condom off, though. Oh. Like, he keep asking to go raw. And she's like, okay, get the results, and he won't do it. Okay, like, how would you feel if you met a nigga and uh-huh. he was just refusing? They're refusing to get tested? Yeah, to get tested. I've been with niggas who were refused to get tested, <laughs> and the only way they found out it was when my test came back. Damn. <laughs> refuse but like they just would never go um i would feel like they hiding something absolutely why don't you want to go yeah don't you find out what's the reason what you scared of yeah they scared of what you gonna know or find out you're scared you're gonna see them three letters (laughs) or any there's a lot of of (laughs) different things like there's a lot of shit you can see on on results so nigga might find out he got hypertension and didn't know it or something like that girl find out he got syphilis find out He got polio or some shit. Like, not my, polio. He don't like he he got, gonna find out he got an eradicated disease. <laughs> 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 Nigga, you got the measles. <laughs> you don't have chlamydia, gonorrhea, or, or HIV, or trick. Mm-mm. But you got measles. You got you got Spanish flu. <laughs> <laughs> you got Ebola. God damn. <laughs> shit, I <ain't. laughs> <laughs> Bruh. So that's why she stopped fucking with him? Yep, she stopped fucking with him because he was refusing to get tested. How would you feel if a nigga didn't want to get tested? Oh, no, absolutely not. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nah. Yeah. There's, there's nothing for us to talk about. Yeah. All right, big dog. Refusing? Refusing to do it? Yeah, no. Nah. All right, big dog. Because it lets me know that you, like, know something. And that lets me know that you haven't even done gotten tested recently. I feel like that nigga probably got tested. They called him and he didn't go back. <laughs> <laughs> So like he don't want to he don't want to go confirm nothing. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> he saw Georgia Health Department hell on his yeah. uh, and they, damn and they caller ID. Hell yeah, because normally they're on call. So when they call, can you give us a call back at your earliest convenience? Hell so yeah. we can discuss your results so we can come in. Yeah. And <laughs> so we, we can report you. <laughs> We have, to, we have to report you to the health department. Hey, and we need your uh, list of partners so we can tell them as well. Yeah, and bring your ID. I didn't go and do none of that shit. Hell, man, fuck that. Uh, I, shit, I, I ain't got it if I don't know. Bruh. <laughs> I'm like, this. people really be having full blown STDs out here and Bad. refusing to go find out what. Like, there's a good chance you might have something that can be treated. Facts. A lot of this shit with. With the proper antibiotic course. I promise. And, and abstaining. Like facts. Like, you can be That's Gucci. the thing, too. Niggas don't want to stop doing nothing. Hell yeah, they don't want to go without fucking for 10 days. Girl, I almost had a story. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, st- you can make me cough. You got a story time? No, I don't. So I did have an ex, right? Uh-huh. And, like, he knew he had something. It was something like it was something treatable, mm-hmm. but like instead of the nigga treating it and whatever, or what, the nigga avoided sex with me at all costs, and I'm just like, "Huh? What's going on? Like this is not like you. Like you're very suspicious." And then nigga put out a condom. Don't wanna have, I'm like, okay. Oh, okay, come all on. Right. All right. Where's the red flag emoji? Uh- <laughs> <laughs> Actually, stop sign. Hey, bro, come on now, dog. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm like, you pulling out a con? Like, what's going on? And then things start to unfold. I was like, oh, okay. Oh, okay. So you were still going to have sex with me, nigga? Bruh. <laughs> you were going to try to have sex with me and you know? Bruh. Bruh. So not a snapped. <laughs> I don't fucking blame snapped. you. Like, yeah. nigga, no. Niggas be so horny, they don't even give a fuck. Bruh. And that's really the the disgusting part. Very much so. I'm just like, you know, like... There are places, there. there is no excuse. Uh-uh. There are places that will test you for free. There are places that will pay you probably to get tested. I promise. They just want your ass to come in here come and, in and know your status. Facts and just make sure that you're not, you know, out here spreading no shit, no super gonorrhea, none of that <laughs> shit. Like, like, they just want you to go in there and get tested. Like, the process is easy. I don't know if, like, niggas ain't heard a bad story. Because we've all heard a story when niggas, they put a Q-tip up there or whatever. Yeah. And, but usually put a Q-tip up when you got green shit coming out, fam. Bruh. So, like... That's why. <laughs> uh, I'm telling you. I remember this girl that I used to know. Well, mm-hmm. not I used to know. A girl I know. Mm-hmm. We just no longer talk. Mm-hmm. Um, she had told me that she had came back positive for something. Mm-hmm. And uh, I hope y'all know this is like a real, it ain't no, my friend told me yeah, and it's yeah. me. Nah, yeah. this is. Really somebody you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So she had told me she had came back positive for something like chlamydia, I think it was, or mm-hmm. something like that. Mm-hmm. And so she went to the nigga, and the mm-hmm. nigga was like, man, hell no, nah, I ain't got nothing. Da, mm-hmm. da, da, da. Mm-hmm. She's like, okay, well, we finna go to the doctor. Mm-hmm. They go to the doctor. The doctor's like, so you don't think that you have anything? He's like, no, nah, I ain't got no symptoms or nothing. Mm-hmm. The doctor told him to pull his pants down. Mm-hmm. The doctor grabbed his dick and squeezed, mm. and green shit came out. Mm. And the doctor was like, so you still think you don't have any symptoms? <laughs> and I was like, what kind of dirty ass nigga do you have to be? Hell yeah. I know you done seen some green shit at least once. Hell. And I'm, to see that and look past it. And be like, I don't, I don't know what that is, but fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> Just put it back in your, in your ethicus. <laughs> Just put it back Hell in your yeah. drawers. Just put it back in there. Like, <laughs> disgusting. When she told me that, I was like, <gasps> <laughs> You know, there's always like the little um, rumor that like men don't really show symptoms, Mm -hmm. like women mostly show the Mm -hmm. symptoms or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I'm just like a woman that you've been having sex with Mm -hmm. coming back positive for something. That's not enough reason for you to be like, damn, let me go get treated or let me go find out. What? You better go take fucking antibiotics just to be safe. Facts. Facts. Definitely facts. What? Facts. I'm just like, all right. Yeah, I just I don't like when the niggas be like, I, I don't know how you got it. <laughs> I I I torture everything in this room, especially if I know I Burn ain't been the bitch doing down. shit. Hell yeah, especially if I know I ain't been doing shit, and I knew I wasn't doing shit. Like, right. When, when a nigga, I know I wasn't doing shit, and then it came out that the I was so dumb back then. It was he was he it was a girl that was supposed to be his friend, and I saw him. I was like, okay, you know, let me let him have a girlfriend. Like they cool or whatever. And I had put up on him one time, and it was outside. Turns out the night that I put up on him was the night they was outside fucking. But I didn't know. I'm just like, oh, it's just a friend. Yeah. 
Hell yeah. Like, oh, okay, y'all cool. See, and niggas like that be ruining it for the niggas who Fast. really just have like genuine friendships, genuine friendships with women. Hell yeah. And the bitch was married and everything. Oh, it's just getting worse. I was like, oh, okay. So she, so she took that little infected pussy back to that her husband. Girl, he probably he probably did. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm just like, look, <laughs> y'all let me out of the, this whole all that weird shit. I, all of this weird shit. Y'all can have all of it. Yeah, y'all keep it. Y'all, can, y'all, yeah, I'm good on all that shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, nah. Yeah, it's yeah. it's definitely a huge red flag. For a nigga not to want to get tested. Not? Like, nah, fam. Yeah. I would literally be intrigued. Like, so what's your reasoning for refusing? Yeah. What's your reason for refusing free testing? <laughs> Hello? I can see if it was, like, paid for. Like, I can kind of, okay. You know what I'm saying? It's, <laughs> right. it's $200 for a test. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. I understand. But, nigga, you can go and literally get tested for free. Absolutely. You can do a walk-in testing to get, you know Absolutely. What yeah, nah. Nigga, they was doing fucking testing at the fair. Like... <laughs> They'll do a 15 minute HIV testing in the heartbeat. I promise. A little truck pull up. Yeah, you want to get into this club? <laughs> we'll do your test. Okay. What was it? What was it? BT used to have a thing. It was spring bling. And you go out there and get STD yes. tested. Whatever. Get it in. Yes. It's, like, no, it's no excuse. There's no excuse. I'm going to get to the front of the line and be like, never mind. I'm right. <laughs> actually, I don't want to go. <laughs> actually, man, this shit look wack anyway. Yeah, I'm going to stupid ass show yeah, no way. Dumb ass shit. <laughs> whole time nigga back his neck sweating yeah, yeah, <laughs> you already know skirt <laughs> <laughs> no for real no they gonna pull my side of the line can you come with us for Hello? a second before oh, you go in do you mind <laughs> we should have a, a conversation before you go she poo shy see <laughs> step over here to our offices real quick <laughs> so we can give you a, uh, <laughs> give a nigga a packet <laughs> okay come out there with a uh, bag girl i'm crying yeah, all right I am crying. Yeah. But yeah, no, moral of the story. Like, nigga, y'all know your fucking status. Men and women. Like, don't just leave. I know too many niggas who will be leaving on the woman to go get tested. Girl. And then wait until she's pregnant to find out she got some effects. Like, it is like literally, if you need resources, I will give you resources. I will find one in your area if you just really want to go. Y'all need to be going to the doctor anyway. Because that's how a lot of this shit get. Did you know when men always be saying, like, what's the benefit of marrying men who marry women? end up living 10 years longer i believe it that's the benefit nigga i believe <laughs> it that's the benefit because we're making sure you go to your doctor's appointments and everything i else. believe it and oh, we'll yeah. be like you know what i noticed uh i noticed that you got tingling in your hand every morning uh-huh. you, you might want to go get that checked. i noticed you stopped breathing in your sleep twice last night <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I just, when i hit your chest you came back i, I noticed that your dick don't stay hard like it used to yeah, it may be an underlying issue yeah. to go check out you feel stressed okay maybe we should lower our sodium intake i don't know if you notice this or not but your left eye kind of droops <laughs> to the side and I, and I don't know if you notice this or not <laughs> and look at that look like forrest whitaker yeah, that with left side paralysis don't even know i don't know if you notice this or not but you could you know your, your left grip was a little less than it has been nigga had a full-blown stroke and didn't know okay nigga, i don't know if you notice or not but your, your speech is a little split <laughs> Slurred. Let me get a check. I don't know if you know now, but you wet the bed last night. Yo, girl, I'm crying. <laughs> Not a fool. If a nigga piss in the bed with me, we are fucking fighting. We are fucking fighting. I'd be like, you didn't know you had to pee before you went to sleep. <laughs> All y'all carry around these fucking gallons of water. You don't think you need to pee before bed? They know. <sighs> my head is hurting right i would beat his ass bro i don't yeah i don't that's unforgivable like the only, <laughs> only, only logical reason i can think of a nigga peeing on you is if you drunk but even then even then you get your drunk ass up hell <laughs> yeah no you, big facts hell no all right we didn't took it somewhere yeah, else yeah we went we went left with it way. <laughs> but yeah y'all definitely know your status and uh if somebody asks you to get tested just uh just oblige them Shit. yeah and if you don't they already probably think you got some, so just just go. Yeah, just go. Fix. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and go on over to our next topic. All right. We going to do a honey rounds. Eddie Winslow. Oh. <laughs> Did I do that? I know that's not him, but still, that's all I remember. <laughs> Did I do that? Um, Cosby Show. Huh? Okay. Family Matters. Oh, shit. My bad. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> okay. Wow. <laughs> Damn, that was fan oh, that shit. He, maybe he was on there, but that was Theo. Yeah, that, I'm thinking Theo. Yeah, it's okay. Damn. <laughs> Damn, that is Eddie, right? What? That is Eddie Winslow, right? Yeah, Eddie Winslow. Oh, okay. Oh, shit, nigga, I'm tripping. That's Eddie Winslow. Damn. Um, shit, I I don't know. <laughs> Cop, I don't know. <laughs> the dad. 
and the dad was a cop. Okay. Now how did <laughs> never mind. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> it said, huh? I told you Gucci. <laughs> wow. All right, fam. All right. Anything should get it from me. Shit. <laughs> I'm the original. God damn it. All right. So this week, uh, there were some pictures and videos that got leaked or released. Shit weird. Showing uh, Sydney Starr mm-hmm. and actor Darius McCrary. Mm-hmm. Um, so Sydney was basically saying that, you know, that they are in a very happy relationship. Um, what I thought was a little interesting was that all the pictures and videos that were posted, they had on the same outfit. Yeah. So it like, wasn't like there was like, like a trans- over a course of yeah, time yeah, or nothing like that. Yeah. Relationship. I mean, Sydney is throwing that ass back. Oh, she definitely popping this shit. You know, mm-hmm. everything. So for y'all that don't know, Sydney Star is actually a trans woman. Mm-hmm. And so it caused a lot of uproar because Sydney's like, oh, we're, we're together. We're in a relationship, blah, blah, mm-hmm. blah. And so then later on that day, Darius mm-hmm. went live with his mama. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Not his mama. The girl went live with his mama and had this to say. My mama weed, man. <laughs> Listen. Weed and oxtails. Weed and oxtails. We eat good. We eat oxtails. Listen, and y'all. Nice. Well, y'all are discussing these rumors that aren't true. We eaten. And they aren't true either. They are, <laughs> they are not true, okay? Okay. I mean, but, but I will say this. What are we in high school? You gonna tell me who I can be friends with, who I can't hang out with? Huh? I mean, I mean, I'm I'm a grown man. I'm I'm really five years from fifty. So I mean, if I wasn't with my mama, I would really be saying this a whole other way. But I'm being respectful because my mama right here. Yes, ma'am. Being good. Anyway, we love you guys. Okay. Love you guys. Stop running with these rumors, y'all. Don't go with it. It's not true. You know what I'm saying? That's why you need the big brother to chime in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I think that my fiance would really have something different to say. That's that's the focus. That's what y'all should be. Focusing on where that, where that ring is. <laughs> he got an old nigga laugh. Yeah. Hell yeah. Fam, his mama just sound like the mama from Family Matters. Yeah, bruh. Sound, I forgot the mama's name. Sound Same. just like her. Bruh. I thought that was actually super strange. It's very strange. And like in the videos that Sydney Starr had posted, they were fucking kissing the nigga grabbing on her ass. Yeah, all that shit. Everything. It was looking, that looked more than just a friend to me. I am so confused by the whole thing. I am too, because, okay, let's just say, for instance, y'all not together. Mm-hmm. The fuck was y'all taking pictures for? <laughs> to show that it's okay for y'all to be together? Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't fucking the, know. What was the occasion for the fucking pictures? It, Why it, were they needed? It looked like a, 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 a Zeus version of Dancing with the Stars. Bruh. <laughs> like, I, I, I do not understand none of this shit that's going on. I don't know if it was y'all were shooting promo. I'm a little unsure what the fuck was going on. But like you said, I'm super fucking confused. I'm very confused. And then did you see that he went online? He went on some podcast uh-huh. with his supposed fiance. Uh-huh. And the fiance was like, yeah, no, we're together. He is not with Sydney. Uh-huh. Blah, blah, blah. Uh-huh. And so then it, the, whoever was hosting the podcast was like, well, when's the last time y'all two kissed? Uh-huh. Him and the fiance started kissing. And then the fiance started kissing every woman in the room. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't see that part I, I didn't watch them. i saw them kiss and i was like oh that's too much girl is this that holly weird shit people be talking about girl because i don't i don't understand none I, of it. i'm not i'm not and then so i'm I, not understanding i saw when they were together people were like oh yeah y'all know he did like trans women or something like that and i'm just like i didn't know that but okay cool if that's what he like yeah and i'm just like i am confusion i'm conf- and it's something against sydney star but the whole thing was just weird Bro. And then she's like two celebrities. I'm like, wait, 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 girl. wait, wait, wait. To who? Girl. To who? Girl. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm just the whole thing was just weird. It seemed staged. It didn't seem authentic. It seemed like that nigga probably did that shit. And then his mama called him like, what the hell is you over here doing? Right. That's uh, to me personally, I feel like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like. I feel like he had some shit going on with Sydney. Now, would I take it as far to be like, yeah, no, they were in a relationship? Mm-hmm. I don't know about that. Because like I said, every video we saw, y'all got the same fucking outfit on. Yeah, so it was shot that day. Yeah, so everything, all that transpired over the course of a day. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, nigga, that's a lot to happen in a day. It is a lot to happen. Like a whole lot. Yeah. And Sydney has said that, you know, he drank everybody liquor up and all of that. 
And, and I watched like this, and everything I've seen, he looks either drunk or high. Girl, this he looks like he barely like standing. Girl, his eyes barely open. Which I I'm not judging on that. You know what I'm saying? But the nigga does not look like he is in this a wor- sober state of mind. Hell no! Nah, this in this like he don't look like he can consent to nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's a real word or not. He don't look like he can consent. He don't look like he can send it to the video or the after. Like it just, it should just look weird. And then when his fiance came out, I'm just like, I saw them kissing. I was like, okay, yeah, bro. The fiance shit is weird. The mm-hmm. fiance also to me feels like she was just brought into the picture mm-hmm. to like try to do you know some sort of let's save yeah, this. Hell yeah, let's stop this train uh-huh. wreck that's about to happen. <laughs> I don't know, but at the same time, it's just like. Damn, uh-huh. this wouldn't even be like a big. I'm just, I cannot wait for the day that a man, somebody comes out and they're like, yeah, so and so, you know, likes trans women, uh-huh. and they're just like, yeah, all right, cool. This wouldn't even be a big deal. What's making it? It's not weird that you and Sydney Star are kissing. That's uh-huh. not the weird part. Uh-huh. The weird part is all this other shit afterwards. Hell yeah, like just be honest. I personally, I think he was really fucking with Sydney. You think so? Absolutely. I don't think so. I think he was. I don't think so. I think. I think he might have fucked Sydney that day. I don't think so. Of the shoe? I don't think so. Bro, the way that nigga was grabbing her ass. The nigga, he just. You man, know how a nigga grab your ass when I he know. about to spread your shit. That nigga said he, a couple years from 50. That, that, it, the whole thing <laughs> reminds me of a nasty ass nigga. <laughs> You know them them old school niggas oh, that be nasty yeah. and shit? That's what it reminds me of. He will, like, he don't care what you look like, he'll leer at you. And just yeah. undress you with it. Like, he just remind me of a nasty nigga. Oh, uh, when you put it that way, that I can just, see that too. Yeah, to just would do some shit just because, like, yeah, it's ass and it's fat. And I'm going to grab it. Like, some shit like that. Which, I, if they, the relationship didn't surprise, like, if they came out and said they were in a relationship, I was like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, like, same. that didn't even surprise me. Yeah, that didn't surprise me either. But it's the, uh, it's, like you said, it's the other shit after. And I don't, I don't think, I don't think a lot of people were like, damn eddie why yeah nobody cares like nobody cared <laughs> so i don't i don't know if maybe it didn't get the reaction everybody i don't know i didn't really care i'm just like i didn't seem like this like that seemed like they don't seem like it's it don't seem like it wouldn't be something like you know what i'm saying he, he's when he enjoys women you know yeah what I'm saying? so i wouldn't be like god damn this is like no i'm just like okay cool yeah same but it it was other shit after all that weird shit, and then it, the fiance kissing yeah. every girl at a podcast. I, I just don't know. And why are y'all doing a podcast to get like? I don't know. It's weird. And then like the after, she's like, "We're just friends." I ain't kissing my friends, fam. Bruh. My friends ain't finna bust my shit wide open, fam. Bruh. Like, bruh. Josh, we know you listening. Facts. You, you ever grabbed our ass? Never. You bet not. Never. <laughs> Like we not even that type of friends. It's like, come on, like, like any dancing, of us ever kiss Josh? We've danced together, kiss and shit like DJ. That. Hell yeah, we've danced together and all that other shit. But it, that's as far as it goes. Yeah, and even that, that's just some some like playful yeah, shit. Yeah, we dance like we just vibing type shit. Yeah, Man, Josh ain't gonna bend us over and like smack ass, yeah. spread your shit, <laughs> touch the shows, grab it, do the bank head bounce. Yeah, <laughs> you know. I don't know, y'all. That's some different type of friendships or whatever. I don't know what kind of friendships y'all be having. I don't, and it don't even just be with like the opposite sex. Mm-hmm. Like some of these friendships I be seeing women having. Like, why are y'all all dressing up in lingerie, going to a party and kissing? Fam, maybe that's the type of friendship we just don't understand. Because <laughs> I ain't ever fucked none of my friends. No, ever. Like, it ain't been something I've been into. Like ever. And 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 I'm I don't I just maybe that's just some shit. That we not on. Bruh, I don't know. I'm telling because what was it? I think it was last week. I was talking to a young lady who will remain nameless. Uh-huh. And she was like, I really want to have a threesome. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay, so why don't you just do it? And she was like, I want to. I'm like, well, do you already have a girl in mind? And she named one of her friends. Oh, wow. And I was like, what? <laughs> you you want to... You want to fuck your friend? Uh huh. You and a nigga fuck your friend? Ooh. And she's like, she's with the shits. Ooh. And I'm like, even still. Yeah. Nah, because my mind think too too far ahead for some shit like that. I'm thinking y'all gonna be sneaking up behind my bag. <laughs> like nah, fam. <laughs> like uh, no. Like nah. Yeah. Nah. But I think like even with like a threesome, you gotta have a certain level of security in yourself. In yourself, definitely. And I'm not there yet. That's so that's how I don't need to be doing no shit. Yeah, like that. you gotta be like, I don't give a fuck what other pussy come in this room. Mine is still superior. I mean, that's cool and all thing, but <laughs> that nigga's putting in too much effort. I'm finna clothesline somebody. I'm finna fall somebody up. I was just like, why? 
my mind has never thought threesome and thought one of y'all. Hell yeah, let me include you. Who asked to have a threesome with me and you? So it was somebody he was talking to, I think, and he laughed it off like a joke. Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. Yes, yes, yes. If I can remember correctly. Yes, yeah. I don't remember who it was, though. I don't remember either. But that that's some wild shit. Hell yeah, and I'm like, nigga, the <laughs> fuck wrong with you? <laughs> We're not that kind of friends, fam. First of all, nigga. <laughs> And second of all, if we were that kind of friend, nigga, what, what the fuck make you think we would pick you? You. The fuck, fuck out of here. Mr. Nigga. Yo. Go about your way. I hope you had a day you deserve. Uh, okay. <laughs> the day you're worthy of. Hell yeah. That's weird, fam. Yeah. I but, say it's weird. But that, that ain't no shit that I practice. Yeah. It's just, like you said, we don't have them kind of friendships with us, with with other men. Yeah. Like, If I get dressed and go to a lingerie party, I'm fucking somebody else at the lingerie party. It's not going to be nobody I came with. <laughs> yeah. so that's damn sure. I'm seeking out somebody else who look available. It ain't going to be nobody that rode with me. I rode with, I done been with. Hell no. Right. Nah. No, I'm, yeah, nah. I'm, I'm okay on all that. Folks be on some different shit. So, yeah. I mean, Sydney and Darius, that just looked like some different shit. Hell yeah. And I don't know, y'all niggas just, just being weird. And I don't know if this is supposed to be a rollout. But do you think that Sydney's history got anything to do with, with it? Yes. the reaction that we give her? Mm, what you mean? Because I don't. Because I when I saw the video, mm-hmm. I immediately thought about Chingy. And me personally, yeah. I still feel like she was fucking chingy. She probably was. But then she came out and was like, I, I lied about it. Mm-hmm. I only saw him. We just took a picture together. Yeah. You know, chingy says that basically she ruined his career. Chingy ain't, I mean, she ain't do that. Hello. Okay. But me personally, I still think that she was fucking chingy. chingy. But then it later comes out, didn't chingy fuck a, what's her name? The comedian. T- no, chingy's brother. Oh, chingy brother. I think. No, it was Chingy. I think it was Chingy. Yeah, it was Chingy. And he I, forgot about the shit. Yeah. He didn't forget, he didn't forget no Sydney star. He, <laughs> he forgot intentionally if that's what the case was. He didn't forget no damn Sydney star. But I just, I don't, I don't, feel, the, it, it was like, the whole, when, when it came out, I was like, oh, she's trying to promote something. I feel that's why I felt like they are they pushing some BT movie or something. Right, Zeus. BT one or no, Bad Girl House or whatever. What's the uh no what's the BT For Us by Us? BT plus. B- <laughs> so it, they pushing some BT plus something. Like it, it don't make any sense. Yeah, it didn't make sense to me either. But go off if that's the case. Cause she I feel like I feel like she kinda like double back to him. We're like, oh, we're just friends. Yep, she did. Together and all this other stuff. And I'm like, girl, if that's the case, that's fine. But it was just it was just really weird. Yeah, the whole thing was just strange. Mm-hmm. Um how would you feel if you got online and you saw your fiance uh-huh. in a video like that with a woman, trans or not, uh-huh. and then he wanted to come to you to use you as like, c- come on, baby, tell everybody we, we together. together. Tell everybody I-, I don't like trans women. No, would you do it? Hell no. Nah. No. Nah. You didn't make the decision when you was over there taking pictures and slapping ass and, and tonguing her down. Don't be trying to use me now, fam. Facts. Big facts. I'm good. Oh, yeah, all that no. shit. No. Nah. Because, I mean, I don't know if this is the type of thing for his fiance too, or if, if, if they got all something going. I don't know, fam. The whole thing is just very, right. It feels very inauthentic, feels very, um, this ain't the reaction that we wanted, or no, nah, I don't know. Shit just seem re- weird to me. Yeah. And you can be weird by yourself. Don't include me, none of your weird shit. Girl, I'm telling you, because that's why I was just like, uh, yeah, no. Like, I don't know what was weirder. You going live with your mama? You going live, your fiance going on a podcast. Like, I, I just, I, I'm, I'm confused. It's confusion, very much. So I just think like, like mismanaged, damage control. And then his mama say something about oxtails or some shit. <laughs> yeah, they said that they was over there eating oxtails. Well, that's very expensive. So. <laughs> <laughs> oxtails are like damn near as much as steaks. Now, I saw so. eggs. I ain't seen no damn oxtails unless you eating oxtail and eggs. Maybe, you know the new trend is oxtail and grits. So. Girl, you ain't lying. <laughs> hey, it, look, it look good as shit now. Why does oxtails have such a hold on you niggas? I don't know. I do not like oxtails. Fam, I don't think I've ever really had oxtails, though. That's, that's the crazy thing. I've had them before, but it was just nothing. That I was just like, mm, I can't <laughs> wait. Because okay, I don't like anything like, I don't like neck bones. It's too much work. I don't like turkey neck. Like, I don't like shit like that. Like, appendages, I don't like to eat. <laughs> oxtail, neck bones, uh, 
cow tails. I don't eat none of that shit, bro. Because I'm, I, I ain't the oxtail really a, the tail of ox. Yes, it really is. I'm good on that. Yeah, I'm just like, mm mm. I'm good on that. But you know, that's a new trend right now. Yeah. Oh, this is, and you know, I'll be honest. This is so off topic, uh-huh. but it's still with oxtails. Okay. That's like the only complaint that I had about Jamaica. Is about the oxtail? No, it's oh. just like the food is like, it's limited. Uh huh. Like Jamaica really has a very limited menu, uh-huh. and it's gonna be some sort of fish, uh-huh. some sort of seafood in general, mm-hmm. oxtails mm-hmm. or goat. Well, they don't really have no exports though. Like they don't really, you know what I'm saying? They don't really have. Stuff yeah, it's like, like how how long can you eat jerk chicken? Girl, uh, Jamaican probably forever. Shit, that, <laughs> what, what else you got to compare it to? They eat chicken fried, jerked, <sighs> curried, or uh, browned, like gravy. I feel like if that's all your options, what else do you want? Like how else do you know how chicken? Can, how, do you know chicken can be air fried if like, you never had an air fryer? Bruh, after being in Jamaica a month, you know how fucking tired I was of <laughs> rice and peas. <laughs> I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm sure you were fucking rice and peas it. with everything. Rice and peas and some sort of like veggie mix. Uh-huh. Like, I believe it. Like that shit get tiring. I believe it, but I, I feel like if that's your main like, I mean, I guess if that's what you like grew yeah, up on. Yeah, yeah. Man, maybe there's more, but that's literally all that yeah. I saw every single fucking restaurant. Yeah. All the people on the side of the road, they serve <gasps> jerk chicken, mm-hmm. jerk, curry, curry chicken, <laughs> curry goat. It was, all right, so we finna have some angry Jamaicans, right? You like, we, yeah. We have more time culture. What upon your mind? <laughs> Wild wine. <laughs> we have more than bumba clot oxtails. <laughs> Pussy clot, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry to the Jamaicans. That was my experience. I ain't mean it. All right. <laughs> What's next? <laughs> All right. So uh, moral of that story is like, you know, if you like what you like, then you like it. Mm-hmm. There's no judgment. Everybody's grown. As long as everybody's consenting. Hell yeah. I've said before, I don't give a fuck what y'all do. Facts. <laughs> Facts. All mm-hmm. right, so let's go ahead and go on over to our last topic. All right. We are going to do a hundred rounds. Adele. I mean, not Adele. Shit. I'm reading this. Lizzo. <laughs> Rumors. <laughs> Avocado panties. Oh, oh. <laughs> TikTok. Titties. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, <sighs> Cardi B recently had her birthday party, mm-hmm. and the whole birthday party, it was like a Jamaican theme, mm-hmm. which I was like, okay, cool, whatever. Mm-hmm. It was just a, you know, a little reggae theme or whatever. Lizzo showed up to the party in basically like a mesh dress, Mm -hmm. titties out, no nipple covers, Mm -hmm. nothing, Mm -hmm. and a pair of panties. Mm -hmm. So the pictures were going around of Lizzo, Mm -hmm. and of of course, Lizzo is a a bigger woman, Mm -hmm. and we already know that y'all fucking hate bigger bodies. Facts, no matter who's attached. Yeah. You hate fat bitches. You you just hate fat bitches (laughs) in general. (laughs) You say bigger bodies, fat fat bitch. Fat bitch. (laughs) And you niggas be fat bitches yourself, but that's a conversation for another day. Oh. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, you, you niggas you be, be BBWs. BBWs. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, you BBM. <laughs> but anyways, what the fuck do I know? So then shortly after that, Lizzo mm-hmm. actually went on her Instagram live uh-huh. and was talking about, damn, this new Adele is going crazy. Uh-huh. And on the live, she's shaking her ass. She's in the studio. Uh-huh. And Lizzo actually decided to pull her pants down uh-huh. and tell everybody to kiss her ass. Uh-huh. So at that moment, of course, everybody's screen recording the shit. Uh-huh. Everybody's like, oh, shit, y'all. Uh-huh. Lizzo done went on Instagram live and showed her whole fucking ass. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so... Shortly after that, Lizzo posted and said, sometimes I wonder why do I still do this shit? Mm. The love feels fake these days and the hate is way too real. I promote meditation, plant-based nutrition, flexibility and strength by performing high energy choreography for 90 minutes straight. Mm -hmm. Body confidence and in the video you're commenting on, I'm literally just dancing. Get a fucking life. If I'm Moby, you're the dick and I suggest you hop off mine, bitch. Damn. Okay. Right. So, how did you feel about Lizzo showing her ass? So, it was a little weird at first until <laughs> things were put in context. Because I was like, why the fuck is she doing this? Yeah. And of course, everyone like, she's going to be online crying tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> so, at first, I was like, that's weird as fuck. But then I, I understood. 
I guess I got why she did it because it was like she got a lot of backlash for her outfit choice, which I don't understand because she followed the fucking theme. It definitely was on theme. Like that's like she dressed for the occasion. And if Tiana had wore that exact same thing, which she wasn't too far off from, anyways, mm-hmm. there would have been nothing. Rih- Rihanna didn't get this much backlash when she wore it to the Met. Uh, hello, you know what I'm saying? So it's it's just you hate fat bitches, and that's cool. Okay, that's that's cool. Right. So I understood that, and the picture that they posted wasn't the most flattering picture of her. It wasn't that night. Like, she took other pictures. And she looked really good mm-hmm. in the outfit, but the picture that was posted. I guess they won't look how she look in this or whatever. Like the fuck, look at her saggy ass yeah, titties, yeah. I'm a just, big stomach. And I'm just like, this is how like I ain't gonna say most women, but, but like, a lot. <laughs> but a lot of women have titties that look like this. A lot of like I just I just heard so many comments about her titties and her ass. But I'm just like a lot of us have cellulite. But a lot of us don't have perky. Yo. titties like when we take our bra off them shits is not where they was when we took had it on absolutely not and like okay so, but I, I, I don't know the whole thing is just weird too i guess i don't know i don't know the point of showing i mean i guess kiss my ass or whatever i don't know i agree like for one i think it's fucked up that like plus size women mm-hmm. or like y'all like to refer to fat bitches uh-huh. have to explain that they're healthy effects like before you accept them as fat women. yes before you it's like oh okay well and then once you say like like lizzo said i promote a, a plant-based lifestyle mm-hmm. i do choreography for 90 minutes lizzo be work, i can't say this lizzo shows like is high energy impact like this girl absolutely be going across the stage doing doing this shit like absolutely bill was so fucking boring on the bt award bro laying on that <laughs> fucking couch I might be a. That's how, that's how y'all want Lizzo. This, y'all really think Lizzo act like this? Hello, <laughs> but that ain't Lizzo's show, girl. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I, I hate the fact that like fat women have to explain like, yeah, I'm fat, but my cholesterol is Facts. low, uh-huh. and I don't have diabetes. Facts. I don't have and, high blood pressure, and, and my heart is fine. Mm-hmm. Like, I hate that that has to be yeah. said. Facts. But then on top of that, I thought it was strange that Lizzo showed her ass. Mm-hmm. And I do, a part of me, I can't lie, a mm-hmm. part of me does feel like she's like slow, like some way crying out for help. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Like, I really don't know if it's a thing where she really just truly don't give a fuck about what nobody has to say about her body. Because mm-hmm. I think that she does. I think she to does. To a certain extent. And I think she's she, looking for acceptance. Yeah, I don't know if she's looking for acceptance, but I think she, what she does does affect her because then she comes back on and kind of defends like her her, her decision yeah, or why she does stuff mm-hmm. so i think it does but i feel like even if you have the best body confidence about yourself or body positivity you keep hearing shit like that over time then you're like well damn you know what i'm saying like even it will make you feel type of way yeah, i would how imagine it would take you down eventually you know? yeah so i don't i don't know because like i said the whole thing was kind of weird to me like afterwards but i feel like I don't want to say this is what this is what you're gonna have. To, this is what you have to accept because no one should have to be have to accept um, emotional abuse or being right. talked about anything like that. But like you already know how people feel about you, mm-hmm. so anytime you put on something that people feel like fat women shouldn't wear or shouldn't put on, because even like a lot of big women are like well, she should know what how to dress for her shape. She should know how to dress for how she want to dress. Absolutely. Like regardless of you dressing for your shape, because a lot of a lot of fat women be like she needs some shapewear on, like. I don't fat women don't subscribe. No, some fat women don't subscribe to shapewear. Right. And we cannot act like it wasn't until just recently mm-hmm. that like plus size clothes actually started getting cute. Facts. Like before that, you was wearing something that was balloon shaped that made it had no sort of shape to it Facts. whatsoever. Black. Black mm-hmm. was it was nothing that was like form fitting. But the uh the peplum everything was hell fucking yeah peplum. Every, <laughs> everything would be shaped around your titties and then fluff flare out after that. <laughs> flare out on your belly. You know, like hell everything yeah. was like some uh big old arms on it hell and like yeah. all this other stuff. Like, and I've even said on this podcast before, mm-hmm. I hate your fucking plus size jeans with the fat ankles. <laughs> like. <laughs> Stop flaring out the fucking ankle. Facts. Like, my ankle is normal size. Facts. It's like, proportioned. It's proportioned. Uh-huh. Like, we cannot act like that shit didn't start getting cute until just now. It's, it's like been the, a little, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's been a little while, but I will say it's been a little while for fat fashion to be affordable. Because this shit that, that used too. to be cute for fat women would be very expensive. You know what I'm saying? If you a plus size, back when I was in school, like really the only place I could find like really good fitting jeans was like Lane Bryant. But then be them ugly shit. Hell yeah. Jeans. Like wouldn't, wouldn't fit even right. be cute. Hell no. And them shits was like sixty dollars then. So like fat fashion just started to being affordable too for like, you know, 
boohoo curve and fashion over curve and she ain't all these curve and pluses now on the yeah. see. so i will say that but just like i don't i don't realize like the whole i don't know because if y'all if your fat ass mama was out here hmm. walking around you wouldn't say like you would you want people to uphold her like the queen that you think she yeah. is yeah i don't get it fam like i don't, I don't know the thing is, is that, like, the sad thing is a, a lot of men just hate women. A lot of men hate women in mm-hmm. whatever form or shape that they come in. Like, mm-hmm. I had saw a meme earlier this week, and it was like, hold on, so you mean to tell me Corla Roy is too skinny. Mm-hmm. She looks like a boy. Mm-hmm. Megan is too tall. Mm-hmm. And she she looks masculine or mm-hmm. whatever it is that y'all want to say. And Lizzo is too big. Mm-hmm. So, nigga... Which one is it? Who do y'all like? Your homeboy. <laughs> who do y'all want us to be? Like, what? Do you, what? Who looks good to y'all? What there, do y'all? There's want? no pleasing. What do y'all want? There's no pleasing. And then, and then niggas will like women that are, um, they'll they'll like a a dream doll. Mm-hmm. And then at the same token, be like, well, I hate uh women who do body enhancements yeah, yeah, or plastic, plastic surgery. surgery. Mm-hmm. And it's like you fake. Mm-hmm. it's like there's there's no pleasing Mm-mm, at all there's no pleasing and i'm not saying that the goal should be to like please mm-hmm. but i really think that the conversation needs to be what the fuck is wrong with you men it i don't even i don't want to just put it all on men because it'd be it'd be a lot of like it'd be a lot of women that i see in the comments like saying shit that's true because who who was it little baby's baby mama uh-huh when she got online i forgot who she was talking about uh young baby take yes mm-hmm. it was like this is unhealthy this is what an undisciplined so you're right like. it is a mm-hmm. lot of women it's just i don't understand why it's so hard for people to just mind their business big facts like if if you don't have anything nice to say at all bingo then why is it it was something it was some video i was watching on tiktok and this girl was doing a dance but the inside of her legs was discolored mm-hmm. and people were like saying nasty bitch clean your legs and all that stuff i'm just like as a plus size woman you know like your thighs rub together they rub they, together they're they they gonna look darker than anything else yes like, friction on that shit hell yeah my whole life <laughs> <laughs> my whole life my legs rub together <laughs> bitch, <laughs> a gap ain't normal facts but i'm just like the the need to tell somebody some shit that they already know. Yes. You don't think Liz? I know she's a big woman. Yes. You don't think that woman know her thighs are discolored? You don't think like people be knowing this shit, and there you feel the need to like to to point it out for what reason? I don't understand this shit to be up on somebody's comment. Just being mean. You big as hell. Like I know I'm fat. I was yeah. fat when I uploaded this. I'm gonna be fat when I take it down. Like, and I'm fat right now. I'm fat right now. Like ain't shit changed. Yeah. Like, oh, I don't have no weight for me. The weight for me challenge people be doing. Like yeah. <laughs> you can stop because this is it. <laughs> Thanks. I'm, it's just it's just so weird that people want you to have this level of perfection that they don't even have for themselves. That part or that their mother doesn't have or yes. like no one else possessed and this is kind of what what you want to project on someone else right and niggas will literally sit there and beat a fucking insecurity into you facts and then call you insecure facts <laughs> be like oh, boy, you so insecure but nigga you told me you've been telling me that you don't like my short hair you've called me fat for the last facts. 366 days and now you mad because i'm not gonna eat in front of you hello <laughs> now you mad because at, at the thanksgiving dinner i only had uh what green beans uh, right and some cranberry sauce Hell yeah and a sliver of turkey like you've been calling me fat ass yeah it's like it, we i think we just with the internet the internet really needs to be careful because mm-hmm. a lot of these conversations mm-hmm. we've even seen it before mm-hmm. where people have taken stuff that people said about them online mm-hmm. And they've ended their lives over it, mm-hmm. or it's led to alcoholism, mm-hmm. some sort of drug addiction, Thanks. and then y'all will be having another conversation. Then, mm-hmm. like, just leave people the fuck alone. Facts. If Lizzo wants to go outside with her titties all out and her stomach out, who the fuck am I? Thanks. Like, I would never, and I would absolutely never, and never have seen a picture of anybody that I was just like, oh, well, their body. First of all, I don't even look at people's bodies like that, to be honest. Like, not examining no shit like I don't, that. I don't even look at people's bodies. I'm not going to look at a plus-size woman in a bikini and be like, girl, you ain't got no business being in that. Facts. I'm more so like, bitch, work. Facts. 
Where are your two piece? Facts. It, does it come in my size me? Hello? <laughs> like, Where facts. are your fucking two piece? Facts. And then not only are you wearing your two piece, mm-hmm. you're wearing your two piece and you're taking fucking fire ass photos facts. in it. Not and you fuck. uploading that shit mm-hmm. without a care in the fucking world. Facts. Really, I'm here for it. Facts. Really, it's the goal. I mean, I don't know. People, I don't, I don't, I don't want to say, I just feel like it's a lot of people's own insecurities about themselves or like you feel that lowly about yourself that you want to make someone feel like you feel. Yep, absolutely. And that's, that's all, that's all it really be. Cause yep. like, why does someone else's confidence or why does someone else posting offend you some type of way? Girl. That shit ain't affecting you in no kind of way. None, none whatsoever. Like it ain't keeping you from a job. It ain't keeping Mm-mm. you from losing weight. Like it, I don't understand the obsession with someone, with someone else post. And why you feel the need to be underneath someone else's post and and tell them some shit like yeah, stop being weird. Who gives you the like who who gives you the gall to like you had to end all be all and say all Hello? the shit? Hello, and like none of you niggas be nowhere near perfection your damn self. And girl, we didn't talk we didn't talk about how you niggas be coming and girl and shit. Girl, Mm-mm-mm. girl, you niggas be wearing shit that be too small. Your belly be hanging out Fact. up underneath it. Don't don't be throwing away your boxes got holes in. You Hello, the, you, you got the same boxes you had since high school. Your socks is fucking dirty. In fact, they don't match. Right, they got holes in because you ain't cut your toenails. Yeah, fact, like your shoes is beat up, uneven and dusty. <laughs> Like, and then you you had the nerve to tell somebody else they fat or or they not they not your type, nigga. Worry about you being somebody else type. It be the main one. Hell yeah, what type are you? That like no, she just look fat and nigga. But the thing is, you're not even my type of nigga. Hello, like, I don't give a fuck how you feel. You're not even my type Hello? of nigga. Like humble yourself. Please. Hello, you niggas couldn't even get close enough to smell my fat pussy either. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the fuck. <laughs> so okay. All right, we just be okay, girl. It's the truth. <laughs> Facts. Sometimes you gotta tell these niggas, nigga. Facts. I don't give a fuck what I look like. I'm not looking for you. Facts. <laughs> you not my type, girl. I don't give a fuck. It been it been a couple niggas I had to humble. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you like, have to. Yeah, it's like nigga. And girl, as soon as you shut that, a nigga down, he want to start with all that old weird shit. Yeah. Nigga, fuck out of here. The thing I just really hate is that men feel like they're entitled to your intention, your attention, or. That you supposed to pick them because you're plus size, like nigga, I got options. Hello, plenty. I, I got options. Plenty. You heard that S on the end of that nigga. That huh. means I have more than one. <laughs> plenty. And if I don't like you, I have no problem going to somebody else, nigga. I don't have to stay here and deal with your bullshit because Bruh. you find me attractive. A lot of niggas find me attractive, nigga. Uh, hello, I'm that bitch. Hello, there is no short <laughs> no, of attention on this like, side. I, I know I'm attractive. Absolutely, fam. You're not the only one, Bruh, I'm telling you. Calm what? yourself down, little baby. A, a nigga, no, look. <laughs> Get your feelings hurt. I promise. Don't even fuck with me. Facts. Make you feel, make you feel real low. I'm telling you, because it ain't, it ain't going to be no uh, nigga over here calling names and shit. I don't fucking play that. Facts. Like, nah. Facts. Nah. So that's why I just be feeling like when I see Lizzo, I'm like, leave Lizzo alone. Facts. And a lot of you niggas will sit there and be in Lizzo's comments Saying one thing, and I swear, I already know your DMs say something different. Facts, because you would definitely fuck. <laughs> like, calm down. Bro, did you see whenever Nao was posting some of the DMs she gets? Uh-uh. Girl, niggas was saying some shit to her. Oh, I know. She had posted something. Some nigga had said something like, uh, called her a whale or something. Said she was some reference to her being big or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then she posted his DM, and he was like, you're fucking beautiful. Your body wow. is absolutely fucking beautiful. You're the most beautiful woman in the world. Mm. I'm just like. That is so strange. Girl, but niggas be doing that shit. That is so strange. If it's not that, you know, stay away from them niggas, but also stay away from, um, I don't know if you heard on TikTok, it's the cult, and they call this girl Angela. She They call her Daddy. And she be what? Like, yeah, it's you a, talk me on some other shit. It's a whole lot of strange shit. And she used to be a plus size woman, and she had weight loss surgery and lost all the weight or whatever. And now she's a stud. That's how she classifies herself. Now she calls herself a stud. Uh-huh. And she has women that she's in relationships. But a lot of these women she's never even met. The food, the shit is so weird. Like I saw a live one with her and another woman, and the lady was like, "Oh, you're you can be- go live on TikTok? Yeah, you can go live on TikTok." I don't know how you do it, but you can go live on TikTok. Oh, wow. Or they were, they were showing a TikTok too, but it was a, a, of a live. Oh, okay. And somebody had commented, you're so beautiful. And the girl's like, thank you. And Angel was like, what? She's like, oh, no. Daddy said I can't say thank you. And basically, it's like this cult of plus-size women that she has following her. Um, 
that they, she's in relationships with and like they'll have punishments and sometimes their punishments is like them cutting themselves or doing some other crazy what? shit. What? Girl, it, the shit is wild. Let me Google this. Shit is wild. I don't... I don't Angela Colt TikTok? Yeah. Shit is wild, fam. And she's some stud with some 27 piece on and blue eyes. <laughs> Bitch, I will fuck you up. Don't even... Like, they call her daddy. The shit is, is it wild. Mr. Bitches? I don't think so. I don't know who Mr. Bitches. That sound familiar. Mr. Bitches sound familiar. <laughs> Oh, Daddy's Girls. Yes, Daddy's Girls. And basically, there's this woman named Angela who has a cult of BBW women (laughs) who send her money and downright worship her. Mm -hmm. But they only belong to her, and she belongs to anyone. Mm -hmm. Oh, Angela cute, though. Girl, Angela is not. Angela, no. On this video, Angela look look like a... Oh, not them damn contacts. Yes, that's what I'm saying. She looks like a uh, uh. girl. It's a whole like I implore you guys to look for that. That shit is wild. Um, the things that she having people do. I heard a lot of these women she's never even met, and like this she girl has Angela tattooed across her chest. Yes, that's the one I think. She's a darker skin lady. Yes, that's her. Yeah, that's the one who's talking about daddy's rules, and you couldn't call her beautiful because daddy says so. Shit was wild, fam. Like, she got some uncontrollable mind control over these women. Like, shit is wild. Bruh, and I be telling y'all, people like that, you really got to hold on to them. Because those people, not hold on to uh-huh. them being in a relationship. Yeah. But, like, if she can do that. Yeah. Well, and, from, and you can control some women that you never met before. Mm-hmm. Nigga, you had the power to really change the world. <laughs> Girl, watch this when we get done. This shit is crazy. I, I definitely am. This shit is crazy. Um, just knowing some shit. But <clears throat> as we get into some stuff. Oh, yeah, that's all I have for this week. That's okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and go, go into mine. You know, I don't even know what it's called. I'm gonna just <laughs> go ahead and hop in. Let's argue. Let's argue. Fit right, that part. So, do you remember the Atlanta child murders? So there was, it was of course a, that podcast. Yeah, it was a good podcast. I want to say they did something else, I can't remember, but there are more than 20 victims all of them black they're mostly boys and they died to a killing spree that happened in between the 1970s and 1981 wayne williams has been long convicted um he was convicted in 1982 but he was only convicted for the murders of 28 year old nathaniel carter and 21 year old jimmy ray Payne. but he's suspect he's suspected in a, um at least 20 other deaths so on monday the mayor finally announced in a tweet that investigators from the atlanta police department were traveling to a lab in the salt lake city that works with old dna evidence her hope that the lab would be able to uncover evidence that would provide some answers for the families of the victims. Mm. Um, she said that in 2019, she wanted to have the evidence reviewed to see if it could be tested further because it was her hope that advancements would be able to bring new details um, over it. But national, it made national headlines in 1979. Over the course of two years, with more than 20 children and teenagers went missing from the Atlanta area. Um, when the numbers of bodies began to rise, the FBI then it called in to help with investigation. So he's serving his sentence. I think he has a life sentence and things like that. He was never convicted for the deaths of any of the children, and those families have not received justice. So I'm just like, dang, it's so crazy that with the advancements we have and everything else. Mm-hmm. There's these cold cases. And you remember, like, the whole, like, there, like he drew some heavy suspicion on not being, on being innocent. Yep. But I, I think that nigga did do it. You think he did? I don't think he's responsible for all of the murders. I think he's responsible for a murder. I don't know which one. <laughs> uh-huh. But I don't think he's responsible for all of them. I don't. It got so far in the rabbit hole to the. It was like a sex. Um, yes, it was a child ring. sex ring. Yeah, a child sex ring mm-hmm. on what happened. I'm like, shit. This was like thirty years ago, bruh. And I, I was forty. Shit, forty yeah, years ago, which really ain't that long ago in the grand scheme of it's things. Really not. Uh, I was thinking earlier. I was watching something. I think I was. Y'all know I love me some unsolved mysteries. Mm-hmm. I was watching unsolved mysteries, and it was like about some case from like the. 60s mm-hmm. and i'm like shit how the fuck did they really solve crime back then Facts. like it had to be a lot of niggas going to jail for shit they did not do it's a, lot of, it's a lot of innocent men in prison <laughs> absolutely who probably like near in their 80s right now and hell been in yeah their time and been in innocent. There claiming innocence and hell no ai yeah. we heard it all before right no for real mm-hmm. yeah like they didn't like test the like they were probably pulling up fingerprints with tape like we used to do in school <laughs> That's how they got their fingerprints and shit. And, like, that shit is not reliable. Right. No, for <laughs> real. I was watching a crazy one where these twins um, are still in jail because they couldn't fit, like, their DNA. They're identical twins, and they can't figure out which one did it. So they're both serving time. I was like, that's some wild, wicked shit, fam. Hell, yeah. Hell, yeah. Um, Let me see. Um, So did you hear about this salmonella outbreak? 
Yes, I heard about that. Yeah, so the CDC has linked um, fresh whole onions to a growing and mysterious salmonella outbreak. In a food safety alert on Wednesday, they said 652 people have been affected with the outbreak strain of salmonella from 37 states. As far as October 18th, the number of cases is still expected to rise as more illnesses are being reported. So they did, a, they found an initial report back in mid-September, um, but they couldn't identify the food link to it. And so a lot of times when you hear salmonella, you think of like eggs and like meat or something like that. You never heard of really no produce, nothing like that. So according to the CDC, the affected uh, red, white, and yellow onions are imported from Chihuahua, Mexico. Mm. They were distributed by ProSource, which is based in uh, Idaho. And the onions were sold to restaurants and grocery stores throughout the country. Um, throw away. So the CDC urged um, the imported onions can last up to three months in storage. Throw away any whole red, um, white, or yellow onions you have at home that do not have a sticker or packaging. If you can't tell where the onion is com- comes from, then don't eat it. Mm. I'm like, shit. But I, maybe this is me being ignorant, but I thought... Um Cooking killed salmonella. I mean, I guess if you eat onions raw, it's supposed to, yeah. But there's, I mean, they all folks always say the high heat killer, the alcohol killer, yeah. thing or anything like that. But I think generally it does. But if it come, comes in contact with something else, you know, your hands, like preparing food, you're cutting up onions first. Like I can see how it could be transmissible or whatever, like that. So right. the symptoms of salmonella include diarrhea, vomiting, fever, stomach cramps, and dehydration. Damn. Which can begin six hours to six days after being exposed. So mm. most people recover without treatment after four to seven days. But a lot of people probably think it's like food poisoning, though, because those are some like similar to the things you would experience with like food poisoning. So. But it said in 2020, onions were linked to another massive seminal outbreak. I didn't even know about that shit. And there was a big recall. But, I mean, y- y'all be careful about that. Hell yeah. Eating. If you're eating onions, or if you purchase any onions and you don't know where they came from, throw them away. Um, immediately. I got some onion right now. I'm like, shit, is it from Mexico? Go look and see. see Avocado good. from Mexico. <laughs> Are you with the onions in the bag? Yeah, I have the onions in the bag. Okay. Well, I mean, if they if they have a tag on there, you can kind of see where they came from. Yeah, I'm so. about to go look as soon as I get home. You definitely do. You don't want to be in the house. I don't want no problems. In fact, bent over yeah, on the toilet. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. But, Girl, um, I remember my mama had salmonella one time. For real? Yeah, my mama caught salmonella from um, some peanut butter crackers. Damn, were they recalled? Yeah, what they did- ended up getting recalled. But my mama contacted them and told them, like, Damn. Girl, and they sent her a bunch of crackers. Huh? Yep, they sure did. See, and after certain stuff like that, you don't even want to eat shit like that no more. Girl, for what? I guess. Um, and so, you know, in the spirit of blackness, um, Gucci Man and well, the 1017 artists were due to perform for um Howard University's homecoming weekend rapper Big Fizzle, Big Scar, Enchanting Hot Boy West and Big Dog Walk. Mm pulled out all the stops during their performance at Jackson State University in Morehouse, but this group's scheduled show to Howard and Glass planned. Students at the HBCUs have been staging a series of protests against the university, conditions that they're forced to live in. Of course, the Fox 5 DC students have complained about seeing rats and roaches in their rooms mm. on campus. That's one thing. Bruh. A few startling videos that have surfaced across social media shows water spewing from damaged pipes along with mildew and white mold growing out of air filters and ceilings in the room. Yep. As a result, the 1017 crew decided to cancel their scheduled performance and stand in solidarity with the students. Big Scar and his manager took to their Instagram stories to share snippets of the protest with fans. And in one post, Scar's manager wrote, we still here. Students, you are the revolution. We are the revolution. This is not okay. Hmm. And apparently this is outside of one, um, but the students have been standing and sleeping outside of Blackburn University Campus Center demanding for the changes. So I'm like, I don't know, not how university charges st- students fifty thousand a year and having rats and roaches, bro. And I can actually attest to this because my little sister, like I told y'all, she goes to Howard. Mm-hmm. We just moved her in August, mm-hmm. and actually, whenever we moved her in August, when we moved in, the um, dorm that she moved into had no AC. Mm, I remember you saying it. Yes, no AC, mm-hmm. and none of the rooms had fans in them or anything. Mm-hmm. Um, and then it didn't really seem like there was any sense of urgency to get that taken care of. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, I ended up like me and my sister both contacted the housing department. I told them, I was like, you cannot expect for kids to live in these kind of, um, living conditions. Mm-hmm. It's not livable for one Thanks. for two. You guys had a year and a half okay. to make sure that this building 
was in tip top shape mm-hmm. because you had everything was remote last year, so there was nobody living on campus Thanks. last year. Y'all could have fixed the shit then because y'all still collected tuition. Hello, mm-hmm. you still collected tuition even though everybody was remote. Mm-hmm. Like there was absolutely no excuse for this building to not have any AC in it. Thanks. Um, and then we had another issue with um her vent. Mm-hmm. One of her roommates actually has asthma, mm-hmm. and her asthma was starting to act up, mm. and so they ended up checking the vent inside the um dorm room. Mm-hmm. It's black. Completely. Oh, shit. They ain't changed it all year. They have not changed the air filter mm. or nothing like that. So I'm just like, fam, you already know that this school mm-hmm. is damn. Isn't it 100 years old or close to it? Older. Yeah, it's old. Yeah, like this is an old ass school. Mm-hmm. And y'all still got the same dorms that folks was living in. <laughs> not, not then. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all just done, y'all just done spruced them up a little bit, mm-hmm, but still the same, it's, same old bones. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> like you don't think that that stuff needs to be addressed. Mm-hmm. And like I commend those students completely Facts. for putting their foot down and being like, "No, okay. y'all are going to listen to mm-hmm. us. We have something to say." Mm-hmm. My little sister told me that they have uh, done like rather than. Being like, okay, you know what? Let's listen to these students' concerns. Mm -hmm. Because I think at first, before, they actually had some students that were actually on the little council or whatever. Mm -hmm. They they took the students off. Mm. So now whoever's on your council is nobody who's actually living there there and in whatever conditions it is that they're complaining about. Mm -hmm. So rather than y'all being like, okay, you know what? Let's listen. We'll hear what they have to say. Mm -hmm. Instead of doing that, you guys are choosing to turn the AC off. Mm, penalize the students basically. Yeah, to turn the AC off to try to run them out. Mm-hmm. But they didn't they didn't budge with that. You turn the electricity off. Like you're um you're threatening all of the students with expulsion. Mm-hmm. It didn't even have to be all that. Listen mm-hmm. to what they have to say. A Thanks. rat in your dorm is a very real concern. Roaches in your dorm rooms is a very real concern. It's a, that's all these real are, shit. All these regardless of being like we feel like first world problems are health concerns. Absolutely. And then I even saw a story about how this one girl, she was, they gave her like a $5,000 check and issued a, or asked, asked for a refund back yep. and she couldn't register. My nigga, how you want to ask for a check back from a student? You know that shit is gone. Yep. Like how the fuck you like. <laughs> That's insane. It really is. That's like a, a you problem that you need to figure out how you, how you let so many five thousand dollars checks go without these students and it went unchecked like that. Girl. That's probably why they can't fix shit because they let all that money go. Girl, I'm telling you, or the money going somewhere else. Facts, and that's another thing too, because I know I don't I don't know if a lot of a lot of schools were banking on Biden's um, trillion dollar plan or whatever, and that got slashed towards only a couple billion now being yeah. distributed between HBCU. So I don't know if that has a lot to do with it or what, but it's something that has to be done because that's that's not safe at all. You know, you had students being outside for like two weeks, sleeping out there or whatever, and y'all y'all make sure. That the tuition check clear it because when it don't, y'all hmm. cut people's classes off. Hello, and not the system, all the other shit. Hello, y'all be threatening people that they going to be dropped Facts. and all other sorts of stuff. Facts. Girl, and even in regards to that, I I really got an issue with Howard. I ain't gonna lie, and it doesn't help with like the stigma mm-hmm. that these black, these historically black universities have. Mm-hmm. But do you know my little sister just got her refund check? Huh? Just got it. It's almost time for break. It's almost time for the new one. Oh wow. Just got her refund check. Wow. Like, they kept telling her, like, oh, there's an issue with the system. And, bruh, this tells you, like, how far those, like, students are willing to go. Mm -hmm. A few weeks ago, they actually canceled all classes for one week because a student hacked into the school's um, system, Mm -hmm. online system, Mm -hmm. trying to go get refund checks. What? And they're saying that that's what the delay was. But that was a few weeks ago. Yeah. School, y'all been in school since August, nigga. X. Y'all been in school a long time. Y- y'all been in school for about two months at this point. Mm-hmm. So clearly the student that was trying to hack the system in mm-hmm. regards to the refund checks. Needed that shit. Wanted it. In fact, it's like, I need my money. Yeah. Facts. I'm like, how did they expect for y'all to like live and survive? You have to buy groceries. Facts. Like, it's not cheap to get around in D.C. Oh, oh I could measure. You know, like, mm-hmm. I, we be constantly sending my little sister money for her Metro card and all that. Like, mm-hmm. these students have everyday expenses that are outside of this college. Mm-hmm. And for a lot of people, that's what they use their refund check for, to be able to provide for the daily necessities that they do need so that they can uh, uh, come to your institution, spend $50,000, and hopefully be some type of productive Absolutely. student when they leave. That's yeah. like the whole reason people are there. And I will say this too, because 
I always went to an HBC and I really, really wanted to go. But I toured Grambling. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, this is the ghetto. Like, Girl. this is like... This is no. This is like no, girl. They be looking a lot different than them predominantly white universities. Uh, even, even like it. When I, I kid you not, it really looked like my um. I went to community college. I went away to community college, bitch, because I wasn't trying to be nowhere else mm-hmm. but away. But it looked like it really looked my, like my community college that I went to in the country. Like that's how that's how it kind of. I want to say my community college was a little bit better, mm-hmm. but the schools that I went to, I was like, oh yeah, no, the school like the the food was like, I don't know, it it was. Chicken day, whatever y'all got. Chicken day, the, the prisons got that too. Bro, chicken day too on Friday. <laughs> Promise. Like the the just the the dorms were like old looking. Yeah, the gymnasium was old looking. Everything looked old except the football field, and that shit still look old too. Bro, I'm but telling newer, you. But I'm just like, no, like this, all this shit look old. Bro, and I had the exact same response whenever, cause I almost went to University of Louisiana Monroe. Mm-hmm. I had the same response whenever I went there. Mm-hmm. My whole family basically graduated from Southern University. Mm-hmm. Definitely wasn't going in that bitch. <laughs> like, yeah. And for and I understand what those students at Howard are saying. Like, every damn near every celebrity has said that they're going to make donations howard gets so many fucking donations mm-hmm. what are y'all doing with it yeah mm-hmm. buying them out did they did they get ipads or something no i feel like a lot of a lot of schools bought ipads and uh airpods and like that was what the students got <laughs> like i'm like it doesn't make any sense jeff bezos wife mm-hmm. she made a donation to howard university mm-hmm. we already know beyonce got all sorts of scholarships and grants that she offers mm-hmm. and howard like whenever people think of an HBCU, Howard is generally in their top five. Mm-hmm. Howard Spellman, yes, like all, Clark Atlanta, Clark, like those are Morehouse, some of the top tier universities. Or whatever. Yes, mm-hmm. and so I completely understand them students being like, "Can you please explain to us? Yeah, if if so and so, if Jeff Bezos' wife gave y'all a hundred million dollars, can you explain to us wh- where some of it went? Okay, mm-hmm. wh- where is it? Facts. The dorm raggedy. <laughs> There's rats and roaches. There's rats and I roaches. I cannot get over that. I Bruh. cannot get over that. I cannot mold get... growing. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Girl, my little sister's so scared. She gonna have mold growing. She sent a picture the other day and was like, y'all, is this mold? Damn. I was like, nah, I think that's just a stain on the wall. <laughs> Not damn, but still. <laughs> but for like that fear. Yeah, like, I don't know. Because you they don't be taking care of shit. You never know. Yeah. And it, it take forever for them to get anything to, you know, for them to do anything around there. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I just... Like, I even told my little sister, like, I stand with those students. Mm -hmm. The fact that they are like, I don't give a fuck. You can threaten me with whatever the fuck you want to threaten me with. I'm still a student at this university right now, Mm -hmm. and I demand answers. Those are the leaders. More power to them. Yeah. We need a new MLK. Facts. Because I I definitely remember when it took so long for my refund check. It took, like, almost the whole semester. And I, Mm. I definitely made a terroristic threat. So I'm thankful that you know nothing ever came from it but i definitely like if i don't have my check i'm gonna come up there and ain't gonna be nice girl <laughs> they gotta got my bitch ass <laughs> um but that's it for me i do have we do have a less uh a hear you hear you this week hey let's get it um so it prefaces my girlfriend and i've been together for five years i love her and want to marry her one day we've been planning a trip to jamaica for the past six months and her grandfather just passed before we were set to leave she says I can still go while she attends the funeral ceremony, but I don't know what to do. Just feels wrong. Any thoughts on this? Boy, Jamaica will be there whenever the funeral is done. Facts. And if you go, she will never forgive you. Yeah, absolutely. Her do family, not do that. Her family won't either. Who are you, you going to go to Jamaica with? You going to go by yourself? Girl, going to find him a little yacht gal. <laughs> I guess, fam. <laughs> Like you gonna go, you gonna go to Jamaica? You are gonna have to be in quarantine by yourself for how, what is it, how many days that you have to self quarantine or whatever? I don't know if they're still doing it, but whenever I went, um, I had to self quarantine. The first time I went, I had to self quarantine for seven days. And that's crazy. Seven. I think the third time I went, I mean the second time I went, mm-hmm. um, earlier this year, I had to quarantine for like three days. And imagine you only have a seven day trip plan, bruh. And you're gonna spend three of them quarantined by yourself. But of course, the only way around the quarantine is if you're in a resort. And he probably they probably on a resort. I just I you know what? Because something something more happened to me. Not really. It was my grandfather, but we were on a trip. We had plenty of trip. And my yeah. uncle had passed. Mm-hmm. And I was like, dang, I really want to go. But like, I wasn't gonna see a lot of my like it was a lot, like some of the, probably some of the last time me seeing some of my family members, mm-hmm. you know, all together. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, how would I feel like being on vacation, posting pictures, and knowing my, my, the rest of my family back in Memphis mourning and sad and shit? Like, I don't even feel right. Yep. 
I don't even, but that, I mean, if you go, that would say, a, I wouldn't say a lot, but that speaks volumes to me. Yeah, I mean, Jamaica's not going nowhere. And then really low key right now ain't even a good time to be going out there. But really low key. They're doing them no movement days and shit. You can, you can really like, I can understand if you couldn't switch it around. You can, with the death of her grandfather, you could probably change some shit around. Yeah. It's like, not like somebody will understand that. Facts. I don't know if it's vacation time that you worried about or the time that y'all put in or whatever. I don't know. But yeah, you can get flight credits. Facts. If like, my, if all my sorts nigga of told me he not coming with you to see my grand. Like, he 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 would have to be worried about it when he got back. Yeah, facts. Because, like, I don't think I could ever let some shit like that go. Like, her, you would come back single. Fat, like, fam, like, I probably don't need your support. Like, this is probably yeah, a very traumatic real. incident. Like, ugh, I can understand. Like, the only way I can see this is she hated her grandfather. Yeah, that's literally what crossed my mind. Like, <laughs> like unless she, she just really hate. But then, if that's the case, she wouldn't go. I mean, she might go for family obligation. But if she'd be yeah. like, you know what? I ain't really like this motherfucker. Like, <laughs> you can go ahead and go. I'll meet you out there or some shit like that. But it don't sound like that's the case. I agree. And I definitely probably, agree with And she's probably telling you to go because she don't want to tell you not to go. Yeah, for real. But she probably don't want you to go. And that's out of I, I, I don't, this, it, is, it is really be confused about the people. Girl, some people really be like, I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place. Bitch, no, you're not. <laughs> Do what's right. I mean, I don't feel like I'm not judging. I am. Like, it would be different if it was like her grandfather just died and then I lost my grandfather. Like, which funeral do I go to? They on the same day. Yeah, like, that's different. That's different. Yeah. But like, nigga, we're talking about Jamaica versus like the death of a family member. Facts. He probably thinking, well, he already did. Probably. And it ain't my grandpa. And that, and that says a lot too. Yeah, hell yeah. Cause yeah. let it be someone that you love. Like, what would you, if that had been your grandfather, if your grandfather's still here, if, if he had been your grandfather passing, what would you want her to do? Girl, Hmm. You'd probably be calling her all kind of hoes and bitches if she went. Absolutely. Nigga be doing, you left me when I was at the most vulnerable. Uh, yeah, you left me at the, one of the hardest times of my life. So I went and got another bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she was there beside me. Oh, yeah, she best, stuck beside me. That's my type shit. Like, nigga, if you don't go somewhere and heal and come back and act like you got some fucking sense. Yeah, no, for real. I guess, ma'am. I don't, I don't, um, <laughs> I'm not gonna say you're not a good person. But. But it ain't someone a good person would ask. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Like, that wouldn't even be a hard decision. Hell no. Nah, like, to go or not go? All right, fam. Um, yeah. I hope you ain't trolling us. Yeah, facts. <laughs> we'll, we'll see what happens, I guess. But that's it for us. We don't have a, a shit going on in the future event-wise. But if you have any questions, comments, concerns, you can always hit us up at Hear You Podcast on all social media. Hear You Podcast at gmail.com or our website, www.hearyoupodcast.com. Y'all can find me at Huda underscore Breezy, B-R-E-E-Z-Y. Why? Why? <laughs> Did you eat? Okay, I'm confused. B-R-E-E-Z-Y. <laughs> where can they find you at? And you guys can find me on Instagram at Tana Taught You. That is T-A-N-N-A-H Taught You. Yeah. All right, bro. You ready to get up out of here? Let's go. As always, shout out to everybody. We had fun, and we will talk to you niggas next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs>